Hello, this is David Collette. We're here at Guitar Salon International in the showroom, and we're here with John Schneider tonight. He founds festivals, uh, he hosts a radio show, he uh, performs all over the world, he's won Grammys, all in the spirit of doing microtonal music. So, John, our first question is probably from the point of view of people who aren't familiar with this world. Mm -hmm. 12 equally tempered notes that are equally spaced from one another. Sounds very democratic. Yeah. It's kind of, a, kind of a fair system there. From your point of view, from the Michael Tonal world, why is that wrong? Wrong. Uh, it's out of tune. Okay. <laughs> now, most people will hear that and say, what do you mean it's in tune? I had a piano tuner do it, or you know, I've got my little thing that I clip on my guitar and it says I'm in tune. I'm in tune, aren't I? And the short answer is yes, because to, to be in tune, you'd have to ask another question. In what world are you in tune? Okay. If you have all of your frets, well, I'm holding a, not an example of that, but if your frets are all straight in a line and they keep getting close, a standard guitar, to be in tune means that most of your intervals are slightly out of tune. They've been tweaked in such a way that uh, notes can do double duty. Explain out of tune. Yeah, yeah. When uh, two notes are in tune, they sit well with one another. So, for example, uh, this. That sounds nice. In tune. It turns out that what's really going on here is that the lowest string, as uh, any guitar player knows, it vibrates in such a way that it's putting out harmonics. people just stop here. And they're all playing, even when you play that open string, they're all there. Now if you can if you can hear that. I'll isolate it. So what's in there? It's hiding in there. It's, it's buried in there, but it's there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So in tune means when I fret a note it's going to match the harmonic that's inside the lowest note. So let's see if that works. Sounds good to me. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's why it's in tune, <clears throat> as opposed to, let's take a regular guitar or a guitar with regular frets. Right, now they're all straight, and let's put my outside strings beautifully in tune. We, so the same harmonics are on that low note, but It's going, it's wobbling. It's a little bit out of tune. Oh dear. Now, if you try to get that into it, you say, oh, well, the string's too sharp. So I'll just, ah, now it's great. But now the strings That's aren't the problem. Yeah, exactly. It's the problem. So in fact, it was in tune. The fretted G sharps are beautiful, but it's not acoustically in tune. It doesn't uh, fall inside the harmonic embrace mm -hmm. of the lower string. So that's what in tune and out of tune is all about. And of course, there are harmonics all the way up. That sounds very flat. Flat? It's a D. Oh, well, yeah. Holy moly, it's different. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. But is it? Out of tune. No, it's it's been there the whole time. Mm -hmm, it's just mm -hmm. we don't we don't honor that note because it's so weird. Actually, Hindemith wrote way back in the 30s. If you started tuning to that thing, the whole system of Western <laughs> harmony falls apart. It's the end. It's the beginning of the end. So mm -hmm. don't do that. Mm -hmm. But guess what? Composers have done that because it's there, right? Mm -hmm.